This video is sponsored by myself. Learn CSS with my full CSS course, which is now available on my website, slangthedragon.io. In this lesson, we go over one of my favorite features in the CSS language, custom properties, or also often referred to as CSS variables. CSS variables allow a value to be stored in one place, then referenced in multiple other places. In my index.html, inside my empty body element, I'll add an h1 element with the class of title, and that displays hello world. Then in my CSS, we see I already have the border box reset and the everything resets. Now let's say I wanted to change the color of the background. I'll select the body element, give it the background color property, and I'll set it to hashtag 020617. When I save, we see our background is now dark. However, we don't see our title anymore. So I'll select our title by its class name of title, and I'll give it the color property, and I'll set it to hashtag F1, F5, F9. When I save, we see our title is now white. I'll head back to my index.html, and under our title, I'll add a paragraph with the class of description, and that displays some filler text. Then, in my CSS, I'll select our paragraph by its class name of description, and I'll give it the color property of hashtag 9483B8. When I save, we see our paragraph is a darker shade of white. And finally, back in my index.html, under our paragraph, I'll add an anchor element with the class of link, and that displays learn more. In my CSS, I'll select our anchor element by its class name of link, and I'll give it the color property, and I'll set it to hashtag E11D48. When I save, we see our link is now red. We currently have a total of four colors, a dark color, a light color, a grayish color, and a red color. Managing these four colors for now isn't really a problem. However, eventually, your website is going to grow. As your website grows, the same color might be used in hundreds of different places, and when that happens, our four colors will be unmanageable. And to make things worse, imagine after weeks of designing and coding, you suddenly decide that instead of this red color, you want everything that has this red color to instead be purple. This decision will have you scavenging through your entire code base and search for every property that has this red color assigned, so that you can replace them with a purple color instead. So in a nutshell, this isn't very scalable. The solution, of course, is CSS variables. To create CSS variables, at the top of the file, I'll select the root pseudo class, and inside the curly braces, I can declare a custom property that begins with two hyphens, followed by whatever we want to call our variable. I want to create color variables, so I'll call the first one color-dark. We just declared our first custom property. However, we need to assign it a value. I'll copy the hex value of our dark background color and paste it as a value to our first custom property. I'll create a second custom property called dash dash color dash light. And I'll copy the hex value from our title and paste it inside our light variable. I'll create a third custom property called dash dash color dash slate. And I'll copy the hex value from our paragraph and paste it inside our slate variable. And finally, I'll create a fourth custom property called dash dash color dash primary. And I'll copy the hex value from our link and paste it inside our primary variable. Now that we've created our four CSS variables on my body element, I'll remove the hex value from the background color property. Then on my title, I'll remove the value from the color property. On the description, I'll remove the value from the color property. And finally, on our link, I'll remove the value from the color property. When I save, we see our colors are back to their defaults. To use our variables, starting with the background color on our body element, I'll assign it to our dark custom property. 
To do so, we need to use the var notation and inside the parentheses, I can just type out the name of our variable dash dash color dash dark. When I save, we see the background color property is being assigned to the value that we defined in our dash dash color dash dark variable. Now on our title, I'll give our color property the var notation and inside the parentheses, I can select the variable I want. I want the light variable, so I just need to type out the name of the variable dash dash color dash light. On our description, I'll give the color property the slate variable. And finally, on our link, if you think typing out the var notation each time is a hassle, VS Code has a CSS variable shortcut where by only typing two hyphens, we get a list of all our variables. And when I select the primary one, we see it automatically added the var notation. When I save, our link is now red. This little project of ours with our title, our paragraph, and our anchor element really doesn't do justice to how useful CSS variables are. Just imagine for one second that we had over a hundred different individual elements, each with the primary color of red. And then say you decided you wanted the primary color of your website to be purple instead. You'd have to individually update the color property of each element that has your primary color of red. CSS variables solves this issue because now, say I still had hundreds of elements with the primary color of red, but this time it was using CSS variables. To change the primary color of my website from red to purple, instead of having to update hundreds of individual elements, I can just update the value in my custom property from what it currently is to what I want it to be. I'll change it to hashtag 9333EA. And when I save, our link is now purple. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and hitting that subscribe button. Also, if my way of teaching resonates with you, do check out my full CSS course. The link to it is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.